работа наша организация русский мир основана на русский мир организация is based on the experience of some American Christian organizations for over 70 years the Russian Orthodox Church was separated from the people and the church could not communicate with its parishioners directly Russia has lost the tradition of religious upbringing of the children. Several generations were brought up without faith, without even a notion of God. And therefore, top priority of our organization is to fill the gap. We deal with what before the revolution used to be the responsibility of family and church. I mean, religious education and bringing up in faith. Our leaders, those young adults who work for Ruski Mir, are to share their faith, their love, and bring students between 14 and 18 years of age to the gates of the church and to the priests, because people working for our organization are lay people. The program of Ruski Mir Club and Ruski Mir Camps is for those kids who either have never heard of God or are not believers yet. And the program is made up so as to draw the maximum of their attention. We have various sports and fun activities aimed at setting up communication. In camps, we usually arrange concerts, bonfires, discussion clubs. In the evenings, Every day in, in the camp and once a week in Moscow, we run the club, the first part of which is a sort of entertainment and fun. But the second focuses on God and the meaning of life. At the end of each session, an extract from the gospel is read and explained in its relevance to the life of every kid. For him to have a chance to feel in what way his life correlates with the life of Jesus Christ, why it is so important to have faith. Speaking about the methodical principles of our work, we are taking them from the Acts in New Testament, because Jesus said, the sick is in, a, is in need of a doctor, not the healthy. Each leader, through his love and faith, is trying to heal those kids who do not believe in God. And through God's help, they are trying to bring the word of God to them. In the beginning of each camp session, the leader involved with sports asks the kids, have you come here to have meals? Everybody answers yes. Have you come here to sleep? Yes. No, no, no. You have come here to have fun. And the kids do have fun. They have a lot of activities here. Like, for instance, rope score is something very attractive. But what is most important for us is that we want them to understand what faith is. I do not mean faith as being conscious of something enormous, all embracing, say, the Lord who manipulates us. No. We want people to understand God as their friend, as their father, as somebody they can trust. And we try to speak with each of them about faith in a sense of trust. It was not by chance that I mentioned the rope scores. Do you remember the jump to catch the trapeze? I know it is very hard to make that step, to jump and get hold of it. But I did make it because down below there was Timur, one of the leaders who stand by, and I trusted him, and I knew that he was there, and I would not fall, otherwise I would not have jumped. And here we are teaching kids to trust God, as we trust the guy who stands by on the rope scores, who will come at a very difficult moment to save and help. 
Yeah, I think each of those who were camp leaders or those who visited the camp who came to believe will agree that God really helps and that there is God. I'd like to remind you the parable of disciple Peter who walked on sea. That is practically the same thing that we experience in the ropes course. When the 12 people in the boat saw Jesus walking on sea, they took him for a ghost. They did not think that when 12 people look at one thing and see it the same way, it cannot be the hallucination. One person may have hallucination, but they did not think about it because they were afraid. And Peter was the only one who said, Lord, is that you? If it is you, I will come to thee. And Jesus said, come to me, Peter. Peter trusted him and he went to him. We wish that the kids who come to us would feel safe even in a raging sea, and our life is none other than the sea on which Peter walked. I came to the club a year ago. I was brought here by my friend. Now I'm very grateful to her for that, and I'm really glad that I have found myself here, because the camp made me think of how our world appeared and what relationship people should have. Actually, the club made me feel relaxed. <laughs> because before, it was hard for me to approach a stranger. Now, I got rid of this problem. I'm grateful to God, for I can meet the people who share the same views as I do. I can share my faith. I can be in camp and learn more about faith, learn more about Christ himself. Yeah. I'm here at this camp for the third time, and every time I think what a discovery it is for people, what a wonderful opportunity it is to come here, participate in sports, learn something more, share thoughts. That's wonderful. Our family has very deep orthodox roots. My grandfather told me a lot of things, for instance, that her great-great-grandfather was Metropolitan of Moscow and Kolomna Innocent, later Saint Innocent. Here I learned that Americans love and respect him because it was him who brought orthodoxy to their country and they accepted the faith thanks to him. And for me, that is a unique opportunity. Every time when I go to the camp, I feel joy at the chance to learn many things, talk with people, especially now that Father John is with us. He's teaching us a lot, tells us stories in an interesting way. The time passes quickly and is very useful for us. When we leave the camp, we seem to have grown wings to fly away. <laughs> Two years ago, I came to the camp for the first time, and I came here as a student. I thought that I was going only to have a rest. But this camp became something which I will remember for the rest of my life. It was two years ago, and I was happy because it changed my life completely. I heard about God for the first time, and I heard about him as a friend, as a father, as a meaning of life, which I was seeking. I remember I was back in Moscow and I had a feeling that I had left a world of love, a world of my friends who had become more than just friends, but my brothers and sisters. I returned to Moscow and said, oh, I have learned so much, everything was just great. But I was still unable to explain the faith to other people the way my leaders did. This summer I'm working as a leader myself. And in fact, I have learned a lot. And I can tell others about it. I'm really happy because I can give other people what God has given me. I can pass my love to other people. 
кто приезжает в этот лагерь. Я могу сделать их счастливыми. И the most вот, remarkable чем, thing about this summer is that it marks the beginning of the way I have chosen to tell people about the Lord and bring them to Him. It has become the meaning of my life. I'm really happy because I have worked in two camps and many kids came to God and opened their hearts to the Lord and that makes me happy. I will remember the summer for the rest of my life. The group that we brought from the United States is uh, made up of young adult, mostly youth leaders from the Orthodox Church in America. Uh, the Orthodox Church in America, of course, is celebrating its 200th anniversary uh, in 1994, and one of the reasons that we were so interested in developing this camp this year uh, was to begin our celebration of that 200th anniversary of the church in the United States and Canada. Uh, they come from many different places throughout the United States. All of them are active in Orthodox parishes, whether it be in Florida or Texas or California, Illinois, New York, or wherever they come from and uh, they came to the camp for a number of different reasons. First of all, to learn a little bit more about other cultures, other countries, and of course, specifically, uh, to learn about Russia and Russian culture. A number of the uh, young men and women that we brought with us, their grandparents, in fact, at some point came from Russia or some of the territories that were in the old Russian Empire, and so that in a certain way for some of them, it's a little bit of a return to their roots. Secondly, they also came to learn a little more about their faith and to share their faith with other Orthodox young people uh, from Russia, from Finland, and from Poland as well. And thirdly, they also came so that they could spend a little time learning more about how to run camps, some of the problems that can sometimes develop in running camps and the ways that we can creatively solve those problems, and to get a real feel for Orthodox youth work on an international level uh, which adds to their experience that they've already had uh, in North America. It's the first time that I'm in this camp, and it happened quite by chance, thanks to my friends Lena and her husband. I never expected to be so caught up in the camp activities. As it turned out, the part of an outside observer is practically impossible here. It does not have anything to do with somebody getting hold of you and telling you to do this or do that, make the sign of the cross, pray, it never happened. Nobody said, here is God and you must believe in him. I came to him by chance and it happened within a few days we spent in the camp. I will never forget it, because it may actually be the start of a new life. And I began to see other people, their relationship, in a different way. I began to see myself differently because of the love we share here. I never experienced that before when every person loves you wholeheartedly just because you're you. I've seen it for the first time and I love it. That is the main thing which I learned here. Great, sincere love, which surrounds one and which I want to share with other people. Certainly it is very strange and unusual to feel a first grade student again, one who discovers the world around her as something new. But I'm not ashamed to confess that because I know that people around me will stand by and help. They will understand. I know that most of the kids in camp have gone through the same thing. They have experienced the same feelings, tears of joy. I do hope I return to this camp, not as a beginner, but as one who continues one's studies. And probably one day, I will help somebody as they have helped me here. Hi, um, my name is Joe Matuziak, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm, this is a really great opportunity for me to experience Russian culture firsthand and to interact with um, Russian kids as well as um, the kids that are here from Finland and Poland. Um, it's really a great opportunity for me also to um, talk with other kids from 
um, different cultures about um, the Orthodox faith, the faith that we all share. Um, we don't just do it through religious activities, we do it through um, swimming and sports and all kinds of um, different uh, specially designed activities that we have that um, the staff has planned for us to interact and to become better friends with um, those that are all here at the camp. It's a really great um, experience to, um, to come to the Ruski Mir camp and um, it's just something I'll never forget. Hi, my name is Joanne Rozak and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and um, I really enjoy this camp. I go to Orthodox camp in the United States and it's really different than this one because there's not as many different backgrounds. And um, my, I love, <laughs> I love Russia. I've been studying it for four years. And I just, this, this is a great opportunity to learn more about Orthodox faith and the different views that they have here because of the different backgrounds from Finnish and from Russia and from the, from Poland. Um, my favorite part of it is meeting the new people, the different people, and um, the different things that they believe in and how they learn about it and how much trouble they had just to keep this faith alive, to keep Orthodoxy living. And I'm really glad that, to be part of that, to be part of the Russian Orthodox faith. We have come from Finland, which is a neighboring country to Russia, and we have come to spend a few days on this camp as a sign of our friendship and solidarity with the young people of Russia in this new time uh, of new possibilities for the church. And now we are very happy to be in the middle of holy and great Russia in this new era in the history of the Russian church with these real Russian young people. And um, Irina, how do you feel about this camp? It's been really interesting to see all these young people from Russia and from America. And uh, I've never been to Russia before, so it's been really interesting for me. I think, uh, uh, anyway, this, kind, this form of, of work with young people, that they come together and live together for a week or a few days and uh, come together as Orthodox Christians to, to, to pray together and to talk together and to have fun together uh, is something which will be more and more important for the Russian church because it might be true for Russia as it is for Finland that the uh, real family tradition of Orthodox life has been almost lost. And this kind of camps can bring some of that back for a little moment. And it can be a great nourishment for the young people and for the, the leaders also who are living together in the camp. So therefore, it's, it's very interesting and, and great to be part of this kind of a beginning. In 20 years, we'll see how things will develop and how different everything will be then. And then we can remember these very first attempts and these very first uh, these very first steps that have been taken in this this kind of youth work here. I may say that this camp played an important role in my life and I cannot imagine my life without it because the relations between the people here are in some way unique. You know, there are people I've known all my life but they have not become so close as those whom I met here a year or two ago. It would be really hard for me to go by without those latter ones and with their help, the life is much easier. What does the camp mean to me, and what do I think about it? I think that the top priority of this camp is to tell kids of God, because unfortunately many of us were deprived of that. There was simply no source of information. In this camp, everything is going on in an unobtrusive way. People are given the information, and they stop thinking themselves, and they make their own choices they make their first steps themselves. This kind of camp can really help them. And one more thing, I do not want anyone to think that our camp, our club, is a sort of a church or a sect, by no means. We simply want to help people to come to church so they could enter the temple of God as their home 
and understand the meaning of it. Now if a person goes to church and to the club, camp and club meetings will also help. They can ask questions, share what they have learned, go to the temple with a friend from the club, because our being together gives us support. We believe that we're Orthodox Christians and that helps us love each other sincerely. I would like as many kids as possible to go through the club and the camp. Probably it is physically impossible right now, but that brings us joy in our life, support in hard times, and when we share happy moments, it makes us more happy. And today, at Krutitskoye Podvorye, the first divine liturgy in the open was served. This is the Church of Resurrection, the one where divine services take place at Krutitskoye right now, and which was first visited by young people. Today, on the steps leading to the Assumption Cathedral, both American and Russian young people joined in prayer and were part of the Divine Liturgy together with the Orthodox clergy from the United States and representatives of our priesthood. We welcome this kind of activities, these first steps for our nations to get closer. I should sincerely admit that we do not have the experience in youth work as the autocephalous Orthodox Church has because the 70 years of persecution, prohibitions, no right to meet, communicate and work with young people have not been priceless. But today we're living through new and favorable times and we welcome every opportunity to meet have contacts, communication, friendship. Therefore, we sincerely welcome the joint American-Russian students camp session that is drawing to a close. I touch great importance to it and hope that these contacts will be developing in the future as well.